everyone how are you doing welcome to today's tutorial it's been a long while please pardon me with time you're going to see why i've been away for this long you are highly welcome to today's tutorial so today we are going to be making this i'm going to be walking you through on how i made this dress okay from start to finish right i hope you are doing well by the way and compliments of the season how is the hamatan treating you if you are new you are highly welcome feel free to subscribe also tap on the notification bell so that when i upload you get notified and to my existing subscribers thank you so much i love all of you so quickly let's get started so here we go this is the fabric i'm working with this is five in um, five yards, yeah. But we're not going to be making use of all of the five yards. The satin fabric is three yards. That's for the lining, and then this also is for the lining. Of course, we have the wooden and inter lining. Okay. So we we'll get started. I'm going to be cutting the satin. Yes, but I want to really mise the lace fabric so that i don't waste any of it so i'm going to since i'm cutting both the front and the back looking at that picture you see in the straight cuts i'll be pencil dress so we are going to be cutting both the front and the back at the same time so i folded my fabric first into two then i'll fold again making it into four with a zipper allowance of about one and a half inches so i'll neatly arrange the fabric very very well okay so from the waist to the floor length i'm working with is 43 inches but of course you know this is not going to get up to the floor length so i'll remove just one inch so i'll measure 42 inches so that when I'm using it to cut the lace, I will now make it 43. I hope it's clear. So I've taken 42 and a half inches. 42 and a half inches. So this is now our waistline. Of course, we already know this one, but I needed to include it in the tutorial. And then nine and a half inches. This is the waistline okay then from waist to knee is 22 usually i don't include this but let's just see how it goes Okay, so here I'm placing my waist divided by 4, 9.75, I'll just use 2 inches sewing allowance, here I'm placing my hip divided by 4, 10.75, also 2 inches which leaves us here, okay, so I'm going to connect Now what we have here, I'll take it down to the hemline, we have 13 inches and the hemline is also 13 inches because we used all the fabrics here, that's why it's the same, okay. Then at this hip line, okay, let me start from here, at the hemline I'm going to remove Two inches. Normally, I don't make use of this waist to knee. To me, I always feel it's useless, except for a fabric that is cuffed, maybe like a mermaid dress or skirt. Okay, or that, um, yeah, this kind of also, I don't know the name is called, that comes here and gives a fitting before it opens up, but it's not mermaid. Okay, that's the only place I use this waist to knee. All right. 
So I'll just connect with my ruler these two inches here to my hip measurement. quickly add that when I'm sewing you know it's two inches I added here as my sewing allowance so when eventually I start to join my fabric I will have to take two inches at this lower part not minding that I already removed these two inches these two inches I removed here is just for the pencil so when I end up coupling let me use the word coupling my fabrics I'll still remove two inches from here and now we are cutting. Okay, so this is for the skirt part. Remember, I said. For the lace fabric, I'm going to be extending it because this is short. Um, this is less than a waist to floor length by one inch. Okay. Okay, so this is for the back where this I have zipper allowance of one and a half inches here. Shoulder measurement is 17. Into two is... And then I'll put my three inches for shoulder slope. And here, one inch. I'm hold eight and a half inches. And I'll place my bust measurement divided into four. And then my waist measurement divided into four. allowance of two inches and then at the waist three inches mm -hmm. all right so for the armhole I'm going to get the midpoint here and then if you have a curve ruler you use it Or you can as well measure 1.5 from here. From this angle 90 here, you measure 1.5. You don't have a curved ruler. I hope you see it. Alright. Now connect the post to the waist. And then for the neck. I'm using four inches neck width and then for the volume I'll use five inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of them. Next will be to adjust this waistline and this back. The, this zip area so that there won't be bulge when we put our zip so I'll just take away one inch here connect it so that it ends at some point For the zipper allowance, I also take half inch here. Also connect it to end at some point. All right, and then I'll put 
the half inch back here again. So this is now our new zipper allowance. Okay, we'll quickly go to the front. The front is a bustier, not a corset though. And I'll be using the princess bustier to make that happen. So having folded as usual my fabric into two, I'll bring out my shoulder, okay, the half length is 17 inches, I'll just be adding two, I'll add two inches here. No reason at all, but I just want to add two inches so that when I'm joining I'll still remove the excess. And then I'll measure my shoulder. Seventeen inches. Neck volume. Shoulder slope. And then we have shoulder to bust, shoulder to under bust. So shoulder to bust is twelve point five. I'll be taking thirteen inches. The half inch is for the join in here so i'll take 13 inches and then shoulder to under bust is 16 inches i also take 16 and a half inches okay and then the bust span on nipple to nipple is for eight inches I'll be using nine inches. The half inch is for the sewing. Normally I use quarter of an inch, but I want to use half for this. So if your sewing allowance for here is quarter of an inch, you use four and quarter. Okay. So I'll now find a way. Sorry. And this place I'll come down by four inches and I'll now connect to this point. Okay. So neck neck width for back was four. We'll maintain that for the front as well. And for the volume, I'll use five and half. Right. forward I'll still fold my fabric into two because we want to cut the sides. I just want this tutorial to be very detailed. You are following me every step of the way to make it. Now I'm making sure you have up to three inches here at this side. Like I always say this is my three inches. Trace. You mark the notched point. 
Then here you can place your bust and waist measurement. Bust is 42. Let me do the armhole first. Eight and a half. You will adjust this later. Bust is 42. Waist is 36. Allowance of 2 inches. Allowance of 3 for the waist. Okay. Alright. So here, you know this is the shoulder to bust. This is shoulder to under bust. So for here, you measure depending on the person's bust. Once the bust is up to 45 you don't need to do two and a half you have to make it three okay that is if it's 45 by reason of bust not by reason of broad shoulder please you know you took the measurement yourself if it is 45 by reason of the size of the bust not by the reason of broad shoulder you know some people have broad shoulder but they don't have bust you can still be 45 because their upper part is wide okay that is not what i mean okay so here i will take 2.75 and I'll connect it to the under bust and to the armhole um, area. Having done that, I'll then for the sleeve so with this now we we'll cut the lace fabric okay so now you see that at this point you have to make sure that you get the length accurately you see we have space here that is for the one inch I talked about so that you have the accurate measurement from your waist down to the floor length so this way now I will cut all of it okay now having cut the skirt part it's remaining the wrapper for the front okay so you see I've trimmed this side okay so I'm going to open it So for the upper part, I'll just take away about two inches from here. Yeah. Now for the lower part, go away from this point as well I hope you can see it okay well I have 22 inches for this upper part I'm sorry for this lower part okay so I will take away about 12 inches let me see first this is my 12 inches I'll connect it first to to the two inches at this upper part I hope you remember so that we have something like this. Let me just do it and see. So 
this is what I have when I cut it out. So this is for the wrapper at the front. Okay. So now we'll cut the the bodies, the upper part. So this is quite simple. You just place it and cut exactly what we did with the lower part. You place and cut. And then you cut. Okay, so here I've cut even the lining. I hope you see it. I've cut the lining also. I'll also cut the wooden for the front. Okay, so having cut the lining, I also cut an interlining for the lining. I hope you see it. For both the front and the back even though this is just optional okay so next we need to go to the machine now to start to line and then i'm just going to explain how i will line it now for the wrapping part of the skirt i'm not lining it it's going to come later i mean this this is going to be like this i'm not lining this part Okay, then for the front, here we go. If you are going to weave the inside, you can just place your fabric like this and sew it round. I hope you get. If you are going to knit in the inside, the edges later, you can just do it like this. But if not, you have to place it this way. You know, this is the front side of the satin. This is the front side of the lace fabric. So, front facing back, you place it and you sew the two sides. Okay? You sew the two sides. You sew here, you sew the other side so that when you open it this way, the front will now be on top of the front i hope you get so that is exactly what i'm going to do to the skirt and then for the upper part you already know but i'll still explain for people who are joining us for the first time for the upper part i'm going to first attach my fabric like this to the satin i will sew it all around i can use pin but i will still sew it definitely so i will sew it all round okay now when i do that i will then even for the back too even for the back i will do the same exactly what i'm doing at the front i will do at the back so when i'm done of course i will do this one too like this okay now when i'm done i will then make sure in attaching this to this side i will make sure that this part i hope you see it matches with the notch here this is the under bust so i'll make sure it matches when i'm joining the two together okay and then for the back we already know how to line okay we sew from the neck to the zipper area then from here to here then you open it up all right so i'll go to the machine and do that Okay, so this is the upper part. I've attached the wooden. Here is the lining. Okay. I hope you see it. Okay. And then for the skirt part, I've also ironed, I've also lined everything. You see it so next thing i will do now will be to remove some part of the front panel okay the 
7 inches. Okay. But before then, I'll need to adjust the armhole. The armhole for the back was 8.5. This here is it and half also. Okay. Hope you see it. And then this is seven inches. I'm going to make it into a small sweetheart neck. Okay, it's not so pronounced. And then I'll cut. cut the line So I'm going to use this one to now cut. Some clients will prefer you use net, but I'm going to use the same fabric. I'll use the same fabric, but this time around, no lining. Okay. So this is for the replacement of the chest line area. Now I'm going to cut about 0 0.75 You see it. This is about 0 0.75 here, and this is half at this upper part. You know, if I cut exactly this, exactly this length, this seven inches, it will short when I'm joining it because I will take half to join at the upper part, half for the lower part. This is what I mean. I will take half from here half from here okay and also half from here you see we have about one and a half wasted that's why i did what i did 0 0.75 here half an inch up here okay so now i'll go to the machine and join this part here carefully i will sew it like this and this way okay so i've attached it i'll just use my bias to tape it next will be to put my lining this way and i'll sew the two sides then turn it over when i do that I will then join the upper part. I will join the upper part. Um, I will join the back, the upper part and the lower part of the back together. Okay. Close it at the zipper side. Attach my zip. Okay.
Okay, so I've um, attached it. The upper and the lower part of the back. And this is the front. Okay. Here's the back. And then for the, the lower part of the front that has the wrap, this is it here. I also attached it, I folded here. And then I stitched it on one side. Okay. So what I'll do next will be to put the zip here, attach this one at the lower part, I mean this one at the lower part, then close them both on the two sides with the body measurements I'm working with. Now quickly let's go to the sleeve. Okay, for the sleeve, it's going to be a short one, very short one. I'm going to be using five and a half inches. Okay. I have a tutorial for sleeve and this is one of the reasons I took my time to do it. So that I don't always have to repeat basic sleeve tutorial. So you should please check it out. Hopefully if I remember I will put the link for everyone to access it. In the second one also all right so here are the sleeve I hope you know how to cut your circle sleeve sorry let me still show you so you fold your fabric into two this way Fold again this way. So this is the circumference of your arm here. Okay. If your circumference is say like 10, you will now do if you don't want the flay to have gathers. Okay, you need to be careful about this. If you don't want the flay to have gathers, you will divide the circumference by 6.28 and then Whatever you get, you measure it here. Let's say you divided 10 and it gave you 1.1. You measure your 1.1 round this way. 1.1 round like this. So this here has now formed your circumference. Okay. And then you measure the desired length of the flea. If it is 4, 5, 6, 7, you measure it round this way. You see the four is here not from the beginning because you are cutting this one off so you measure this way connect then cut here remove here that is how i cut this this one and this one so this is going to be sitting on this one like this i'll also cut the lining for all of them so this is going to be sitting directly on the shoulder. Hmm? After this, you have this. This is going to be here. I'll just gather it small. It's going to be here. Gather it small. After this, you have this one also. But I'm going to be folding this. I cut all of this based on the circumference of the arm I'm working with. Like this so this is going to be gathers but this is not going to be gathers I hope you get it's going to be straight but this is going to be gathers because it's true let me open it so you understand what I mean you see it I hope you see it you understand better now so this is going to be here 
and then this is going to be here and then the sleeve will be here i hope you get that so i'll cut the lining and then line them accordingly okay my people so i've attached the zipper as you can see i'm going to use my hand gum to hold this part of the sleeve i've also closed them on the two sides and then for the wrap i use this band at the tip here the other one i fixed it before attaching the zipper i hope you see that just to give you a neat job then for the sleeve this is how i'm going to do it this is from the shoulder i hope you understand it this is the shoulder so it's coming down from the shoulder then i have to gather this one here like i explained earlier i gather this part here and then i'll use this one here also this is the only one that has gathers i'll gather this part here gather this one here use this to bind it and then i'll fix the peplum just to give you something like this i hope you see it so i'll go to the machine and conclude this one gather this also gather it here then fix the peplum when i do that i'll then attach it to the armhole and that will be all so you should have something like this when you fix yours so what I'll do next will be to close this up before I attach this particular one because there is no opening here. Assuming there is an opening, I'll just fix it here, but there is no opening. So I have to close this one using the round sleeve measurement, then I attach this. Alright, so I've fixed the sleeve as you can see. And all that is left is to also use my hand needle to attach the applique okay i'll be doing that all the way from up here down to the hemline and then at this chest line area okay if you are with me up to this point i appreciate you thank you so much for joining me today's tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful to you please Give us a thumbs up also help us to share like and comment on our videos till we get to meet in my next tutorial take very good care of yourself and be nice to people i love you bye